Hi, this is John from OurHomeFromScratch.com. This is going to be a brief video on how to use SketchUp for your home improvement or DIY projects. Uh, we just use this program to uh, help us design a layout for our home office, and I'll show you what those look like. Run through these real quick. I'm going to turn these guides off so you can see. Um, this is our home office, uh, the outline of it, and, and the first option we considered was uh, having a work center against the wall with a separate desk. Right now the room is completely empty. There's no furniture in there at all. We just put the hardwood floors in. So, you know, this was pretty easy to whip up and this is not extensively detailed. This is just layout. Uh, how big will these boxes be? Where would, it, where would we put a desk if we did a separate desk? Um, you know, how about a chair? How will that fit in there? What kind of extra space will we have around the table if we did that? Um, so you kind of, this is what I kind of use this program for. Um, so we didn't really like the second desk, so let me show you what else we came up with. Option two for us was a side-by-side um, -side desk, which we saw in Pinterest. And uh, we liked this a lot, okay? Um, we made these built-ins a little more narrow to accommodate that option. Well, we didn't like this all this extra empty space here, so what are we going to do with that? Well, one thing we could do was option three, which is put a built-in, okay? A built-in along this wall here. Um, cool, a lot of extra space, uh, or extra storage anyway. Uh, we didn't like the fact that these two cabinets now are no longer symmetrical. <laughs> Not our favorite. So let's. Tr we came up with our fourth option, which um, adds another cabinet, but a smaller one. And there it is right there. It kind of opens this up. We can put a little um, chalkboard for our daughters. We do a lot of, still have a lot of freedom with the space that's left over. All right. Um, so let me give you a little more detail here. What we did is zoom this up. You can see that I actually made this built in higher than the desk and I have to do that to this one as well. But just for the drawing purposes, you can see that I, um, kind of gives a little break in the line there. Looks kind of cool. Add some interest, right? So something else we saw on Pinterest. So uh, also I, just to kind of give my wife a perspective of what this built in would look like, I also hollowed that out. Um, because that will, these will be upper shelves, these will be upper shelves, these will probably be base cabinets, these may be drawers, who knows. But just, again, I'm just using this to get a sense of how big should this stuff be and where should it go. That's really ultimately the question I'm trying to answer with this program. So let me show you how to do this for your own project. Okay, so you, there's two versions of SketchUp you can use for this. There's SketchUp Pro, which is uh, several hundred dollars, okay, you have to purchase. Um, and there's SketchUp Make. Okay, so SketchUp Make, I think, is the free version. Get them both on SketchUp.com. Um, and the features I'm going to show you and we're going to do is you can, get them, you can get them on this basic SketchUp, the free version. Okay, so when you open it, you get this guy here. We'll just select him and delete him. I'm going to do a top view. Up in this corner are your view orientations. I'm going to select a top view. All right, and then I'm going to draw a rectangle. Let's just draw a room. Uh, rectangular room. Let's just say it's nine foot by ten foot. Let's just be arbitrary. I'm not going to draw an angled wall like I have in our office. It's a little more work, a little more time, but if you wanted to, you could take the exact dimensions of your room and draw them. All right, so let's draw a rectangular. Um, if you notice in the bottom right hand corner, I have this dimensions box. It tells you what it is. I want nine foot by ten foot. Uh, you could try to hunt for nine foot by ten foot by moving this, or you can just draw a box and then type nine foot comma ten foot and hit enter. Right, there's our nine foot by 10 foot box. All right, I'm gonna select it and I'm gonna move it with this button here. Get it out of the way, because it's on that line. I don't like that, I'm picky. Let's do this magnifying glass here. Puts, zooms everything so it fits nice and big on the screen. I'm gonna use this one to zoom out a little bit. All right, so let's draw some walls. This is, let's say, our floor. Um, let's draw some walls so we have something to compare it against. I'm gonna select off there, I'm gonna click on this measuring tape. I'm going to select anywhere on this edge, okay, and I'm going to pull out, and the measuring tape is going to pull out, uh, so let's just say four inches, so I'm going to do four inches, and I'm going to do that all the way around, okay, Oop, let's do four inches, it should snap, and this one doesn't look like it snapped to four inches, but there it is, all right, four inches, four inches, four inches, all right, so this will help us with a wall. So let's draw, I'm going to take my pencil tool and I'm going to draw the lines all the way around. We'll do one, two, 
three and four, and then I'll close this surface, and it's going to go a color. What do you see when I snap that? Boom. Okay. Now I have two basically different surfaces here. I can select either. I'm going to select this one, and I'm going to rotate it just so you can see what this does. When I, I'm going to use this push-pull option, which if you've used CAD before, is essentially cut or extrude. Okay. Uh, I'm going to select that edge, and I'm going to pull it up. All right, let's, if we want nine foot ceilings or nine foot tall walls, let's click nine foot, enter. Okay, uh, great, so there's our floor, there's our walls. So let's do a door. I'm gonna select this front view here to get this angle. Uh, I'm going to, let's just be arbitrary and draw a door anywhere in here. Let's just do this, all right. Okay, looks good to me. Uh, again, not being, not measuring anything here, just blowing through this so you can see what's involved. But if this was your door, you could measure how far it in from each edge it is, how far down it is, yada, yada, yada. But let's push this through the wall and create a door RB. So I'm just going to, so I can pull it out to create an extrusion. I can push it in, create a cut. Okay, so there's our entrance to our room. Great. So let's put a desk against the wall right back there. Um, are built in. So let's do that. So the first thing I'm going to do is let's do a top view. Zoom in a little bit. All right. Uh, let's say I want this thing that this desk over here to run the length of this wall. I want it 18 inches out. Let's select the measuring tape and I'm going to grab a spot on that wall. I'm going to pull out 18 inches. Not 18 feet, 18 inches. Let's try that again. 18, 18 inches. What are we doing here? All right, 18 inches. There it is. All right. I'm going to grab the rectangular tool. I'm going to draw on that. It'll snap to that edge. All right. I'm going to zoom out a little bit and rotate so you can see how this extrudes up when I pull on it. I'm going to grab the push pull. I'm going to select that face and boom. Let's say it's 30 inches high. Great. All right. Let's um, next. I like to have a countertop on there but I still want the piece to be 18 inches out of the wall. So let's push in the cabin in an inch. So let's do a front view. All right, I'm gonna zoom in. All right, I'm gonna push, use this hand to kind of fix the orientation there. Okay, so you can see everything's centered. I'm gonna use my measuring tape again. I'm gonna draw down an inch from here. One inch, oops, one inch. Okay, and I'm gonna draw my rectangular box again, and I'm gonna do it at the edge of the one inch line all the way down to the bottom. This basically separates this surface from the countertop edge surface. And um, since the countertop edge is gonna, countertop's gonna have an overhang, I wanna push it in an inch. So I'm gonna, this is selected. You could also have it non-selected and use this, use the push-pull tool to select it. So I'm gonna select that face and I'm just gonna push it in an inch. Okay, great. Now let's say we want an upper built in an upper cabinet again we'll do the top view and i'm going to do the same thing except this time i don't i'm just gonna uh well yeah i guess i'll do this and i'll pull it out let's say a foot okay 12 inches okay there we are and again i'm going to grab my rectangle box and i'm going to pull this across the length snap it to my line i'm going to rotate it so i see what i'm doing and i'm going to pull it up and i'm going to extrude it and actually puts it to the wall or it meets right there, okay? Right, so there's our built-in. Um, you know, real basic cabinet against the wall, all right? I can put um, styles in here. Um, you know, I can carve it out and hollow it, but you get the idea. That's that's what it'll look like. And I can actually change the color by selecting this, and I just do a crayon. Let's make the built-ins white. So I'm gonna select that color and then paint them white. You may be saying, hey, that doesn't look like white, but it does if you look at it head on. See how the color changes? Yeah, so that's a white cabinet right there. All right, so let's put a chair in there. So I'm gonna file, uh, 3D warehouse, we'll get models. And let's just put it, let's just select the demo. So this is how you search for other models on um, SketchUp. We're gonna search for one. So let's do desk chair. Okay, I'm gonna hit search. Okay, great. Uh, and we just select one. This Herman Miller Ames chair is pretty nice. Let's download that model. I'm going to load it right into my model. Yep. Great. It's going to ask me where you want it, right? So there it is. 
There's the Ames chair. It's there. It is. I'll just oh oh oh. I think it's slowing my computer down there. Okay, let's just call that a day right there. Or maybe scooch it over a little bit. All right. So there's our Ames chair. All right. So we have an office, or we have a little room here with a chair. We can even grab one of these other options and swivel it around, or whatever you want to do. But so this is just a really basic overview of how you use SketchUp to draw your rooms. Uh, you could even select, let's say, the floor and give that some kind of detail. Um, you can say, um, I think it was wood. I did hardwood floors in ours, so let's just select that. Right, there you go. So it's got a hardwood floor in there. We've got some white cabinets, real basic. So I hope this has been helpful. Just wanted to show you some, you know, what I consider to be a pretty useful tool for room design, especially when you're talking about cabinets that intersect other cabinets and, geez, what will be left in the room and all that stuff. So, um, so you can go to our website, www.ourhomefromscratch.com to see the rest of this office build. We're going to be making some cabinets for this and all the rest of our woodworking project videos. Um, so thanks for stopping by and we'll see you later.